Hi everybody, namaste. Welcome, I'm Julie Holman. I'm gonna take you through about 30 minutes of some breath work, guided meditation, some gentle movement, and then we're gonna find ourselves down in Shavasana. Just a little bit about me is I have been a yoga teacher for almost 10 years. I became a yoga teacher when I turned 50. That was my birthday present to myself. But I've also been a hospice and palliative nurse for nearly 30 years. So I have a lot of integrative therapy and work. I'm certified in healing touch and a lot of other modalities that bring a little bit more awareness to mind, body, and breath work. So our practice today is gonna entail meditation, breath work, again, guided imagery, allowing you to find your zen, some gentle movement, and then back down to the mat for our final pose, Shavasana. So just a couple little rules, not really rules, a little housekeeping to help guide you through this. Is all you need to do is find a space and a place in your home or your dwelling, or even if you're outside, just take your phone with you. I'm filming here from inside my kitchen in my home. Um, on the floor, I'm laying, sitting on my mat. I have a little blanket underneath me and I just brought some visual props to make it look pretty and bright for you. If you're in a place that has multiple people in your home, share with them that you need an opportunity to find your Zen and a space to check out in your sanctuary. Again, just for 20, 30 minutes. You can invite folks in or if you need to do this by yourself, even going into the bathroom, turning the shower on and finding your space on the floor, whatever works for you. If you don't have a mat, feel free to use a towel or again, or a blanket. You just wanna be able to have something that's gonna help you root and ground. So without further ado, let's go ahead and make sure that we're comfortable. You can either kneel or sit cross-legged. I'm sitting on a blanket that's gonna help me root my pelvis on down and help me elongate the sides of my body so I'm not slumping or slouching. So I'm gonna take my inhales and I release with my exhales. I'm bringing some space into the side of my body while my spine is aligned. So right now, let's just go ahead and find a space that's comfortable for you and maybe rooting that pelvis on down. And we're just gonna check in. Let's first just tilt that chin onto the neck and throat space, bringing it down. So now we're creating absence of space. Just taking an inhale in the nose here. Lifting that breath up to your crown, hold it for a second, and then exhale out the mouth. Come to a neutral space. Allow that breath to come across the front of the chest, across the face, up through the crown of the head. Hold it for a second, and then exhale out. I'm pulling my belly into my spine, really exiting all that breath out, allowing me to inhale again. Hold it and release out. Softly tilt the left ear to the left shoulder. Take that right hand, bring those fingers across, let them kiss the ear and pull the right ear now over to the right shoulder. Opening that throat space, drop that left hand Bring that breath in and release. Come to a neutral space. Just let that right hand float down. Take that opposite arm up. Bring those fingers over to the ear. Lift with that inhale. Let that left ear kiss your shoulder. Come to that neutral space. Just let the palms float up. Let the palms float down. Bring them to your belly, bring them to your heart. We'll take a mudra, Anjali mudra, palms and hands center, coming up to the heart space. Again, you just wanna take a nice breath in. Having the inhale, mirror the exhale. Bowing down to your radiant self. I have a little smile on my face, just sending heart-centered love to everybody. Checking into my inhale, my exhale here. Just no judgment. Just moving and feeling my heart lift and my belly undulate. Taking a moment here to craft a word or mantra or an intention that you want to have for this practice. 
The word that I'm choosing today is love. Love of self, love of the world, love of my family, love of people I've yet to meet. I send you love. Really feeling that word of that mantra come into your heart space, really feeling that chest rise and relax. And when we say namaste, that means the brilliant and radiant light within me acknowledges and sees the brilliant and radiant light within you. So it's sort of like a shalom, a hello, a goodbye, just an acknowledgement. Now we're gonna move through our breath work. And it really isn't work, it's just acknowledging and bringing light and space into how you choose to breathe. There's not very many things in this world we can control, but you can control the length, the depth, the inhale, how you hold it, and how you exhale. Shh. So I'm coming from a place of sharing evidence-based information that when you move in through the breath, connect with the breath, allow the body to really move and lift and allow that body to exhale out. That focus comes strictly to that inhale and that exhale. This is great for sleeping. This is great for stress. You can do it anywhere, in the car, in the bathroom, in your home, or on your kitchen floor. So let's take a moment to go there, relaxing the shoulders, the neck, and the throat. I invite you here to close your eyes, taking that breath in the nose. Lift it up through the crown of the head, hold it there for a second, and exhale out. We're just gonna take about five breaths here, if you don't mind joining me, and have that inhale, the pause, and the exhale. Just mirror one another. Relaxing your face, your neck, your shoulders. The most important valuable thing right now is connecting with that inhale, that pause, and that exhale. Just two more breaths here, and this time have the inhale and the pause be just a little bit shorter than the exhale. Just take three of those. for one more breath, really pulling it up. Lifting it up, expanding that heart space. Hold it for a second and release. Bring those palms back together, thumbs to the heart center. Allow ourselves to lift the gaze on up and let those eyelids butterfly flutter on open, soft and gentle. Just having a focal point, a gaze point, just slightly in front of you. That's called a drishti point. It just allows you to bring your breath and your essence to that space. Now, we're just gonna uncross legs or shift or move so we're creating an opportunity to allow for blood flow and ease. I'm just gonna switch my legs and then take a moment here again just to roll my head around. Dropping ear and chin and neck and throat space in and out. Because now we're going to move through that guided imagery. Let's take a moment here just to roll the shoulders up and back and forth. So moving through that guided imagery, palms can come to facing down on the knees. Palms can flip up. You can even have the thumb touch each finger as you move through that inhale and move through that exhale. No judgment here. You just let that heart lift up, creating that pause and exhaling out as you close your eyes and I move you through that guided imagery. 
So I invite you here, just find the light. You create whatever light that you want it to be at the crown of your head. I'm putting a little smile on my face because I can feel my personal light, my personal vibration. Bringing an awareness to my breath and the crown of my head, allowing yourself to have that spectrum of light. And then move through that inhale and that exhale. Then let that light just slowly come on down, finding it to the forehead space. You can shift colors. But again, just come back to breath as you let that light shimmer and shine. Now you're coming to the space where the eyebrows meet, your pineal gland. Again, shed light there. Purple tends to be the light shade, the light color there, if you need some help and guidance of what light you might want to choose. And there's a thousand spectrums of purple, isn't there? Eggplant, lavender. Then bring that light on down to the eye space, the nose space, the space between the nose and the lip. Again, bringing breath and radiant, vibrant light. Now that inhale, and that exhale to bring you there. Bring in a subtle awareness now to the cheeks and the lips and the face and the mouth all the way. Let that light just be beautiful. And then let that light throw through the throat space, through your throat chakra. Let that energy float up and around. Let that vibrant light shift and shade whatever colors you want. I'm just your guide here, no judgment. You choose where you want that light space to be with your throat. But while you're at your throat space, I just invite you, if you need to whisper, whisper, excuse me, or utter, or cough, or take a vibrant inhale, and a vibrant exhale, let that throat chakra shine through. Vibrant light and beauty. And then let that light shine through the shoulders, down the arms, to the fingertips, just sprinkling through the fingers, the thumb, all your digits. So the body starts becoming lighter and your breath becomes lighter. Now we find our space to our heart. Beautiful, vibrant heart space, shoulders, chest, Maybe bring a subtle smile to your face because we're all light beings. Let that breath just move through the chest, through the heart, up the throat, past the face, through the crown of your head. You're just a beam of radiant light. Moving through that inhale and that exhale. Moving down the throat chakra, down through the heart space, bringing light to your guts, your core, that solar plexus, that top space of your chest. Maybe even take your hands there. Feel the belly rise and feel the belly fall. Let that belly undulate in the nose and out the mouth. Let that relaxation response just move through the ebb and flow of that belly and the gut. Opening like a lotus flower. Bring that vibrant light to the gut space, that chakra right here, the solar plexus just beaming out. And then moving and shifting down to the hips, down towards that pelvic region. And again, I invite that light to shine if you need guidance, you can be purple, you can be green, you can be blue, you can be moving through yellow, coming down to orange and down that root chakra to red. Again, those beams of light, so you're creating them with your own imagery. But just relaxing with that inhale, relaxing with that audible exhale. Shh. 
of that vibrant light move past that belly through the pelvis down to that root chakra now just shifting that love and light down the legs feeling the vibrant energy and the blood flow around the thighs around your knees down the shins and the calves through the achilles and the heels through the pad of the foot out to the toes, the space between the toes. Just letting that blood flow and light lift up with your radiant, sparkling, beautiful self. And as you exhale out, feel that light generate through the body. So you're just this magnificent beam of light. The light is coming and going, flowing, vibrant. Lifting with that inhale. Pushing out with that exhale. Shh. Inhale. And exhale. Shh. Placing the palms wherever you desire. Just feel that light flow through the toes, through the thighs, up through the pelvic. Feel the front of the body. Feel the back of the body. Come down the ears, shoulders back through the back, through your lumbar, your sacral, your iliac crest, your glutes, the back of the thighs, the toes. And then bring a mindful awareness back to the breath. Again, rest the palms down and the palms up. And back to just breathing on your own here. Again, no judgment. Just allowing the heart space to lift and the navel to come back to the spine. And no judgment. I'm just bringing a smile to my face. Because that inhale that we're bringing, that vital oxygen into the body is coming from the world around us, the space around us, the place around us, the trees, the atmosphere. And we're bringing it in to nourish our cells and our organs and our flesh. And whatever we no longer need, it just exits out. breath going back out to the universe so we have this dynamic synergistic relationship with the world around us and the world within us in my mind's eye I like to think that in my particular body that my cells are like stars and my organs are like the planets in the universe my own internal solar system and my breath in my breath out is loving and massaging my organs, letting those cells do their job, let my brain have its fantastic neuroplasticity as I'm bringing the inhale and the exhale out, doing something new and different and vibrant within my body. And now I'm going to quiet my voice for about five breaths, just allowing you to let your imagination take you to this positive, loving, creative space with that light beam. Maybe you're lifting off your mat. Maybe you're feeling that you're completely floating with that breath lifting up to the sky and the clouds. Maybe you're feeling completely grounded and rooted. Placing tension in the face when you move through those breaths in and those breaths out. Allow for one more beautiful, vibrant inhale. Bringing that across the face, up through the crown of the head. Holding it for a second and then release. Shh. I invite you here to bring the head back up to a nice neutral position. Lifting the head and the neck and the throat. Just take a moment to release how you've been having your legs crossed or sitting. We're going to move through some gentle movement now. Maybe perhaps just bringing those legs out from cross leg or if you've been kneeling, move them around. I'm going to root my feet completely flat into the mat and bring my palms on either side of my hips. 
and just windshield wiper my legs or mermaid your legs. So my knees float to the right, I'm gonna look over my, I'm sorry, my knees float to the left, I'm gonna look over my right shoulder and then move to the opposite side. If you can sit in a blanket or a block, feel free to move it out of the way. If you need it nearby, certainly keep it there. But when you're windshield wipering or mermaiding those legs, just make sure you're opening the side of the body, gazing over the opposite side. Exhale when you crunch it. Inhale when you lift. Exhale. Just two more times on each side, opening that throat. Maybe the eyes are open, maybe they're closed, maybe you're focusing on that drishti point. And then find yourself into the center of your mat. I'm gonna take my right foot, just extend it on out, get a nice little ankle circle in, and my left foot extend it out, get in a nice little ankle circle in. I'm gonna take my right foot, cross it, and sit on up, removing the flesh from the side of my body, and take the left leg and root it right next to my knee. You wanna have the foot firmly rooted into the mat, bring the chest up high. I'm gonna take my left arm, hug my left leg, take my right hand and reach it up. Really opening the right side of my body, lifting with an inhale. Exhale, I'm gonna plant that hand back behind me and gaze over my shoulder. Opening that throat, releasing any tension anywhere. You can have the palm onto the knee or you can take that elbow to the inside and gaze over. You can take a mudra, play with your fingers as you're moving in with that inhale and releasing out with that exhale. Come back to neutral, unravel the arms and then softly pull that leg on up so you're bringing the most boniest part of the ankle to the meatiest part of your thigh. Grabbing a hold here, we're gonna lift our heart space up, open that throat chakra, exhale, lean forward. So you wanna lean with your heart, gaze forward and let that breath out. Bringing the inhale back on up. I'm just gonna unravel my legs, palms come back together again. Root those feet and a couple more windshield wipers. Now shifting back over to the other side, I'm gonna slide my left leg on under, remove the flesh from back behind. Take that right foot and root it. Left side, right side of the body. One side might be more flexible than the other. Don't be hard on yourself. This is your practice. You adapt to what you need to do to just let the sides of the body have that oxygen. My right arm is gonna hug my right knee. I'm gonna take my left hand up, reaching and lifting through that left side of my body, bringing that inhale up, exhale, planting that palm behind me and gazing over my left shoulder. Let that breath move in and out. Again, you can take that arm to the inside, creating a deeper twist. And that fluid through the spine, shifting, massaging those organs. Inhale here, exhale to neutral. Same thing on this side, you're gonna adjust yourself, bring the bony part of the ankle to the meaty part of your thigh. Maybe you push that right knee down just a little bit, lift with that, inhale up, and exhale, fold forward, but you're leaning with the heart space so you can feel that in the quad and in the hip. Inhale up, Exhale, on down. Move it all the way on up. And then unravel those legs. And with 10 minutes left, we're just gonna take a couple more bits of movement and then we're gonna move into our Shavasana. So the next bit of movement that I'm inviting you to do is unravel those legs and bring them on over and we're just gonna come to cat cow. So it's super simple, working from head to toe. You want to have the hands completely planted into the mat or your towel or the earth. You need to pat of the hands to put the weight on so you're not putting any trauma into the wrists. So just plant those palms. And you want to make sure that you are wrist, elbow, shoulder into a nice alignment here. And you want to make sure that the back is flat and that you're coming to a tabletop. So my arms are parallel with my legs. I'm shifting my gaze ahead. I'm look, looking directly down. I'm looking forward. I'm looking forward to a lot of wonderful things. Palms facing down, lift up, flat back. We're gonna lift with that inhale. So my tush is gonna to float to the ceiling. My throat is gonna to float to the ceiling. Exhale, my gaze goes to my navel or back between looking at my toes. Inhale up and exhale. So your cat cow is your particular practice. Feel free to shift the shoulders. Feel free to move into the knuckles, which is called a gorilla, where you really work in 
the shoulders, the deltoids, everything else like that. If you have any wrist issues, you are welcome to come down with forearms. You've got lots of options here. Just make sure that you're breathing in and out with that cat cow. I'm gonna come back up to my neutral cat cow and just do a couple more little subtle stretches here. Lift with that inhale, exhale, gaze back at the belly. Moving on over here. Inhale up, exhale, come to that flat back. Now what we're gonna go ahead and do is just work with neuroplasticity with our brain to get blood flow from the crown to the tips of the toes. We're just gonna keep that left leg neutral. Take that right foot on back and then bend it up and just pulse for three, two, and then one. We're gonna take that opposite arm up, lift with an inhale, bring it on down. Both knees come super close together. Push that tailbone, push that booty on back and walk the fingers forward. Reaching up with a narrow line, child's pose, coming all the way on down. Maybe rolling onto the crown of the head. And then rolling on back, coming to a neutral, and then bring those palms back together again. Lifting up with an inhale, exhale. Bring those legs back to tabletop. Move with that inhale, exhale. Inhale and exhale. We're gonna to move to the other side now. So we're gonna keep that right leg firmly rooted. I'm gonna take that left foot, extend it on out with a nice little ankle circle, then bring that foot up, lift it on up and root it up to the ceiling and then take that opposite arm up just for a moment. Bring it on in, drop that palm, bring the knees down together. Now I'm gonna bring my left knee to the left side of the mat, my right knee to the right side of the mat. I'm gonna float my pelvis on back and my booty on back so it comes near my feet. And I'm gonna walk my hands on out, pushing the earth away until my heart space comes all the way down into the mat for a nice wide leg child's pose. You can have your chin, your nose, or your forehead down here. I invite you to be here for two to three breaths, lifting up with that inhale and exhaling. Coming back to your mantra, coming back to your intention. and then shift the gaze on up. I'm gonna keep my forearms firmly rooted into the mat, lifting my gaze up, pulling out of my shoulders, and then bringing those knees together and coming back up. Walking my knees forward, I'm gonna cross my feet at the ankles and roll through. Bringing my feet in front of me, we're gonna float down to the earth and get ready to move into our final posture in just a minute, Shavasana. But before we do so, from toe to crown, we want to make sure we create a little heat, a little tapas in our body to keep us going. Helps with the inflammatory process, just like the breath work helps with any kind of shift with anxiety. So you can have the palms face up. You can have the palms face each other. You can keep the feet rooted, or if you want to come to a nice tabletop, you can come to a tabletop. We're going to exhale, crunch. Inhale, reach. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, reach one more time. Exhale it out. Inhale, and then drop those feet. Root yourself so you are in the center of the mat. The palms are facing each other. And we're just slowly coming on down. It's your navel guiding you. Throat and chin and chest is up. And as you exhale, bring the knees into your heart space, releasing. Shh. Arms are gonna float to a T. Let both knees float to the right. Gaze over that left shoulder. Take a nice inhale in. Let that belly rise like a balloon. Exhale it out. Shh. Let those knees now float to the opposite side. Gazing over your opposite shoulder. Taking a breath in. And release. Shh. Allow the body to float to a neutral position and then just extend those legs out. Feel free to move the flesh, shift around. This is your final posture, Shavasana. So you've got a couple options here. You can melt completely into the mat with the palms up or down, or you can move into Supta Pada Konasana. I personally like this. This is great for the lower back. It also allows me to have all my chakras completely open. 
wherever you decide to go, either the palms touching the body or the palms floating to the earth. Take a moment to bring the right ear to the right side and the left ear to the left side. I invite you here to take a nice breath, pushing the belly high to the ceiling, high to the clouds, up to the sky, lift it until you can't fit any more in, then exhale, push the belly into the spine. Shh. Create a nice little C curve there, then relax. I'm gonna plant my right hand just below my navel, my left hand to my gut, and collectively breathe in, and release out. If your eyes closed and your face relaxed, you are in your final posture, Shavasana. While you're in Shavasana, I invite you to just stay here and melt into the mat. Come back to that breath, really feeling the lift of the inhale. The pause with the moment of clarity and the exhale. You are welcome to stay here as long as you like. And I invite you here to really just listen to your breath. Focus on the breath. And that belly rise and fall. I'm going to gear up to give you a final salute, so please stay here if you like. I'm going to walk myself on up. Allowing my opportunity to so say thank you. My opportunity to reconnect. Bringing my palms and hands together. Shifting my head, bowing down to my radiant self, my beautiful radiant self which is the same as your beautiful and radiant self. Coming back to my word of love, honoring love, believing in love, and sending love. I sincerely wish each of you lots of joy, wellness, and laughters on your journeys. The radiant and brilliant light within me sees and honors the brilliant and radiant light within you. And until we meet again, namaste.